Okay, so I decided a couple of weeks ago that I would test some uh, AA batteries to find out what the capacity of them uh, of them was. So I can just do a comparison for uh, price and capacity because I kind of realised I was just about to buy like a bulk load of AA and AAA batteries. When you look on the listing pages and the packets these days, none of them actually state a capacity. So you think, oh, I'm going to go for a some energizer batteries you look on the packet nowhere on on here does it actually state how much energy is in is in these batteries it's the same for jcb the same for uh panasonic kodak data draw us out Maplin. I didn't even realise Maplin made batteries, but apparently they do. Um, Procell. And uh, I've already opened these. Uh, Amazon Basics. Um, none of them have actually got a capacity on. So when you're buying them, you don't know whether you're getting uh, a battery that's got half as much energy in it as the, the competitor. That's £20 dearer, £30 dearer um, for a pack. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to buy a set of all of them, which is uh, what I've done. Uh, and I thought I can just run these through uh, my battery analyzer. That uh, has been really, really good for um, testing capacity on um, lithium-ion 18650s, um, anything rechargeable. This just handles really, really well. You can put four batteries in at a time. Do a, a discharge test, a recharge test, and then another discharge. It runs for a little cycle, um, but you can just put it on discharge. So I thought, okay. So what I can do is I can just and I, I tested it with a uh, with a AA rechargeable. Dropped it in, put it on discharge. What left it for a little bit. Looked at it. Yep, fine. It told me how much the uh, the capacity of the bat of the battery was. Uh, so I was practicing on these to figure out how they work, and then I bought a. A, a load of um, non-rechargeable batteries thinking I could just do exactly the same trouble is because this is a charging battery analyzer as soon as I dropped in the lamp line it just came up and said error um, so there was no way this was going to uh, do what I needed to do so um, I had to find another way to do it and a bit of a search around on uh, online on Amazon and uh, eBay and uh, technical forums etc um, didn't really yield any results. I know uh, when I worked as a, a radio engineer, um, we had a, a KDEX battery analyzer, which was uh, really good. You could put any battery you wanted on it, and it would give you a nice graph and discharge and tell you how much capacity it was in. Uh, that's out of my price range. Uh, they're a couple of grand new at least, um, and they're going for 500, 600 pound on, uh, on eBay, secondhand, unknown condition. So I wasn't gonna be buying one of those in a hurry. Uh, certainly not for a little project like this anyway. Um, so I had a hunt around and found um, that you can get these um, small little um, battery analyzer uh, discharge boards on online uh, for, uh, for really not much money. And uh, if you're watching anybody doing a, a, a battery test uh, on, a, on a YouTube just like this, um, chances are they're using one of these at the moment because uh, they're fairly ubiquitous. Also, in a few few pounds each as well, um, so you can uh, plug in uh, on the side here. You put your your battery in, and then you put some load resistors on the side. The trouble is, they don't come calibrated, or they don't seem to come calibrated as well. Because I I bought two meters, plugged them in side by side, got two fairly different results. Um, so what I wanted to do was go through a process of calibration uh, to get them as accurate as. Um, as I can anyway with you know, my limited uh, equipment here. Um, I had to go and buy a new bench meter because my uh, I didn't have a, a decent enough bench meter that was going to give me a stable 10 volts. And uh, I needed to give um, have a, a constant load that would give me a 2 amp um, load, constant load to uh, to put on this to, to calibrate it because the calibration process requires stable 10 volts and stable 2 amp load. Um, so... I had to um, take a um, USB type uh, load bank um, that you plug into one of these little meters that you can uh, test your power banks with 
So um, I uh, cut the end off of a USB lead, uh, put some ferrules on the end, and I've, I've made up a, a lead so I can connect it to this uh, to this uh, meter. Uh, and if I switch over to the phone now, uh, you can see how I've gone through and calibrated this. Um, this is a labelled up as a ZB. Uh, 2L3, ZB 2L3 uh, power meter, maximum 15 volts. So, that's what that is. Switch over to the phone now and show you how I've calibrated them. Okay, so I've committed a bit of a sin of making cables out of just purple wire um, because that's all that has come to hand at the moment is uh, purple wire. So, my positive and negative here for the uh, USB load is uh, purple and purple and off of the bench power supply the uh, live is purple and the negative is also purple um, so it's going to be very careful about making sure we get things the right way around so in order to calibrate the device um, what you need to do is on, on the edge connector here there are four four pins uh, two of them are for the positive and negative from your battery the two center pins here they're actually it's actually marked on on the back here um, Plus and minus in R and R is the resistive load. So um, the positive for the resistive load is this side. The um, negative for the resistive load is is this side. Um, to power the device, you need to plug it into a USB lead, a USB power supply. Um, so you don't lose the readings and the measurements when the battery goes flat and it dies. So you need a five volt supply on the micro USB. Um, to uh, to power the device because um, you know you, you could have a fairly wide range of voltage coming in here and put too much in to fry the um, the uh, module on here so um, hence you've got to power it from this USB so to put it into calibration mode what you need to do is hold down all three buttons at the same time and then plug in the USB lead and you get uh, this AO zero volts. So what that wants is that wants a zero volt supply. So let's just uh, unhook that for a second. Unhook the negative. So it's now going to calibrate it for the zero, zero volts. So we hit OK. Now what it's asking for is a 10 volt supply. So that's the positive. Um, the bench meter looks like it's set for 10.01 volts um, and it is as far as it's concerned however checking it with the meter at the other end of these leads gives uh, a reading of exactly 10 volts so if I check uh, with the multimeter now we're seeing 10.01 volts here and if I just probe on top of here and here we see exactly 10.0 volts on the multimeter, so there must be a tiny little resistance in the in the line uh, in the leads, um, or you know it's a hundredth of a volt out one of these meters. Uh, I've checked this with a third meter, and it matches exactly uh, with this 10.01 volts here, 10.0 volts here. I've checked it with with this meter and. Uh, another meter that I put away and they all give exactly the same results and if I use the fine adjustment to get down here to 10.0 I get 10 uh, 9.98 volts here so the tiniest little adjustment on the uh, current meter here uh, on the bench power supply so this has to be 10.01 that has to be 10 so now we've got 10 volts so we can press the OK button here on the uh, battery monitor to confirm 10 volts now what this is asking for is a uh, an exact two amp load so using my purple in purple lead so i'm gonna so let's see that's the positive side so i'm gonna stick that in the top connector here that in the bottom here
and my USB load here. So I pre-set this before for exactly two amps. That's what's set there. Right. Ten volts. Two amps. Again, that's showing 2.005 amps here. It's very, very fine adjustment here. I'm not sure I'm worried about a thousandth of an amp. That's as close as I can uh, as I can get it. Um, so we're going to hit the OK button here. And now that's calibrated. Bolts is 10. You can see the voltmeter, the meter here flashes between the uh, amp hours used, the amp value, amperage, and the voltage. So we've seen that over time. Now it's got some load on it, the voltage is dipping a bit. But that now is supposed to be calibrated. So I'm going to get the other one out and do the other one now. And uh, Hopefully they'll now be a bit more consistent. Okay, so now the uh, battery uh, meters, uh, battery test meters are uh, calibrated. I'm going to get on and uh, run some uh, AA batteries through and uh, see how they get on. What I might do is run a few uh, rechargeables first to um, just get a bit of practice using them and uh, figuring out uh, how they work, how accurate they are and... Uh, if they're going to do what I like them to do. Thanks for watching.